Everyone going through any form of marital challenges should seek for light. Light is the master of darkness any day, any time, anywhere. Don't wait for solutions. Seek for solutions. A wound is not cured with time. It's cured with treatment. I read eight books before we got married. See the gorgeous nature of the marriage. No guess what? No guess what? The answer is in the book, no matter the question. Amen. The answer is in the book. Let's go seek for it and seek it, find it. We are not seeking. Where will you find? Welcome to Apostle TV. The message you're about to watch will definitely transform your life. Be blessed as you watch. Everyone going through any form of marital challenges should seek for light. Light is the master of darkness any day, any time, anywhere. In the Word of God is light. And that light is the light of life. And that light shines in darkness. Darkness cannot handle it. In him was life. And the life was the light of man. And the light shines in darkness. Darkness can't stop it. Seek for light to shatter the siege of darkness around your life. Seek for light. The Bible is the answer book of life. The Bible is the answer book of life. Come to me, O you that and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Come and learn the way out, and you find rest for your soul. Come and learn the way out. Come and don't come and cry. Come and learn the way out. Come and learn the way out. Don't stop bombarding the gate of heaven. It won't hear. Your hand can't leave the place. Come and learn, and you find rest. Don't wait for solutions. Seek for solutions. A wound is not cured with time. It's cured with treatment. You don't treat your wound, tetanus will enter, death will resolve. God's word is God's medication. He prescribed the medication, leave you go and use it. Come and learn of me. I read eight books before we got married. See the gorgeous nature of the marriage. No guess what? No guess what? I studied 39 biographies of ministries. I was studying ministers across ages. See the effect. People are not interested in solutions. Sir. They're just pretending. You have Christ at home. Have you ever read any marriage book in your life? Of any proven author, not your writers. Proven author. We are looking for those books in our days. They were not available. We are looking for them here and there. You find one, you photocopy it. People are not interested in solution. One of our daughters here sat down with the book when he heard that the answer is in the book. Began from Genesis chapter 1. By Gen Jeremiah, he found the answer. Marriage, call of living store. The answer is in the book, sir. Yes, sir. The answer is in the book, no matter the question. The answer is in the book. Let's go seek for it and seek it, find it. We are not seeking. Where will you find? All this academic Christianity where you just wear coat and wear suit and wear shoes and be going around and be saying, oh, bless, we are blessed, we are blessed. It's, it's not the way out. A student will not study, will fail. No matter how anointed his teacher, he has to study. So he will not end up with shame. It's time to go find these solutions from the book of life. The solution bank of man. It's time to go do that. There are those going through financial stress today. They have never read one book on prosperity in their life. One. One. Just let Papa pray for us. Can I pray for you to be a doctor now? Medical doctor, not animal doctor. <laughs> John, your name medical doctor. A consultant. Emeritus. Amen. <laughs> From America. <laughs> My God. <laughs> there are things that prayer will not do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a process. It's a process. It's a process. Somebody's soul is changing. Do you really want solution? You say yes. What have you done? To pray you want a solution. What have you done? Have you set time apart to pray and search? No. So when will you find? Solution is not in the market. You seek for it. In the precious name of Jesus, 
the grace to seek for solution. There are folks here, sir, who are long overdue for marriage. All they need is some light from heaven to shatter their fears, which is resisting their breakthrough in life. All they need. One of our daughters here stayed back after service and read a book, finished the book, and was on her way home after 5 p.m. The following Tuesday, she got a job. She got a job. She read the book, Word Encounters, from back to back testimonies, plugged into it, and by Tuesday, got a, a job. Not chewing gum all around the street. She took responsibility. Somebody's story is changing. But that one, let me hear your loudest amen. We have anointed materials here on marriage. Go for it. Check it out. It's working for too many people in this church. Working for too many people in this church. It will work for you also.